Okay, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Jay Jeter, and I'm back with another review. This time I have a new Lion Wobotron. It's their WB03. Yes, 03. We skipped 02 with the 3A, which is their turbo ejector. So here, here's the box. Very nice, nice box. It comes with a little slip cover. This just comes right on up. Different super tough from me had before. So yeah, here's the, nice, the box right here, just a big black box with a window display that opens up. And if we get some artwork of Tober Turbo Injector right there. And he comes in this window display down there that is closed up on y'all. So yeah, get some little bit of um you make that out his vehicle mode and line art. On the side, still some of that line art of the vehicle mode. On the back, you get some line art of the combined mode for their Computron. The bottom, that's it. And the feature of the box and how they're doing it this time, you get this little tab right here. You just slide it on out. It takes a little while. It takes a time. Any day now. Any day. Any moment. There you go. All the way out. Yeah, he comes in a clamshell, so he's already out the clamshell. We're gonna take this box, we're gonna throw it off in the phantom zone. And inside that box, you do get the Clippers car of Turbo Ejector, Robotron in the back. We got rid of all them you know, misspellings, the sea urgent, and all that stuff. So you see a skill, strength, and intelligence right there. Comes with two guns, and they look very nice. Nicely detailed guns, nice silver paint right there, gold paint. Yeah, nice. Yeah, both of them the same. Comes with these right here. These are some weapons that go into his forearms. I'll show up in more detail on the figure. Also comes with the instruction booklet. Instruction booklet goes to his transformation. And it's not as nice as it was before. They're trying to cut costs in some areas, but increase costs in others, like in the box. But yeah. And in the back, you got that same artwork of the combined Computron. And also on the box, you get these on um, this baggie of stuff. I don't really know what it is exactly at all. It's nothing detailed about it in the instructions or anything like that. I mean, I guess it's some ratchets, but I don't know where to go to um to put them on this guy so yeah and here is our feature guest turbo injector also known as afterburner yes afterburner the technobot who's a member of the combiner name computron so yeah he looks very nice uh nice like a nice updated look to him super anime-esque look and yeah he's nice and orange very orange and um yeah he has some nice um details to him you can see molded in detail look very very nice his proportions are great and you can see yeah i like the the take that these guys are using with this he looks g1 in the face and everything but he has they have took liberties with other areas of him and one thing i don't like is that they did not do the eyes blue Otherwise, come on, blue eyes, blue eyes. But he has some um, other translucent parts right here on his shoulders, right on the back, right there. These little turbines on him and stuff. And I guess these can be used as like a jetpack thrusters to go up and up in the sky with. And he also got these guns right here, and these look very nice. I like the uh, weathering detail in the barrels and stuff. See that they did with their brawl figure. And yeah, his guns do hold in his hand. Uh, just plug them in like so. Same thing on the other side, just use your imagination for the other side. They also come with these things right here. They do extend out, you know, a little slider right here. And they plug into his forearms. So some extra armament for this guy. So he comes ready to rock and roll. You know these guys are like scientists, at least in uh, IDW, IDW comic books, they were portrayed as scientists for. Spoiler alert, most of them got killed. But yeah, um, 
So yeah, so you can arm to the teeth if you want. It is war, people. So let's go ahead and do some articulation. Articulation of this guy is pretty standard um, for the most part. Um, head is on a ball joint. He looked up a great deal. Thank you very much. He looked down pretty well. Uh, side to side action. Uh, left and right. He's out the way. Arms do go all the way up. His jetpack backpack thingy. Rotate it round to the down. He can go up to the shoulder. Hits himself in the head with his shoulder. So very limited articulation going out to the side. Uh, bicep swivel, uh, more than 90 degree elbow bend. Wrist do rotate, semi articulated hands that just open and close. Waist rotation, let's go forward, not much. Bend the knee, that much. Go out to the side, yes. Uh, does not rotate at the knee, but rotates at the upper thigh. Uh, toe articulation, left and right. No ankle tilt whatsoever. But he does have this on the back. Let's go out like this. There's no details in the instructions of what it's supposed to do. I guess it adds more stability to him. Maybe. Probably. Instructions don't say. Instructions don't say a lot. And let's go ahead and get into some size comparisons. Right, first, we got uh, Robotron's Brawl. Yeah, and they're about the same height. We got our classic Sunstreaker. And he is way taller than him. Uh, Sunstreaker is a tall deluxe figure from Hasbro's heyday. And um, this guy is more Voyager sized. Camera back on over. And he is with Toy World's Orion, Optimus Prime. And that's a nice height, I must say. I think it looks pretty good. There we go. And here he is with his G1 self. And they do look good together. I mean, they look not good together, but as you can see, they all did what they took from the the homage and everything like that, and put them into this guy. Pretty much the orange. He is all orange. But the face coat looks pretty similar. So yeah. And you got the wheels in the back like that. You can get him looking like kind of like G1 if you want to. All you gotta do is bring these, bring this back like so. And bring the camera up so I can see what I'm doing. So then you pretty much kind of tab the wheels together like that. Bring it up like this, and you got him looking G1. Gives him a little bit heavier backpack, but he seems to stand pretty well with it. So yeah, and that backpack is like humongously sticking out, which well, kind of look like the same as this guy anyway. So yeah, if you're going to give him a G1 look and not having the super backpack mode, it's cool. You can do that. Well, if you want him the backpack mode and pretend that he goes into battle, he deploys his, transform his wheels into murder, death, and destruction with missiles right here, right there. And he got his cannons right there. And he got his jetpack flaring up. And like, oh, I'm going to action. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that, totally. All right, let's go ahead and get the transformation of this guy. I don't think I forgot to do anything else. So, transformation is pretty okay. I mean, it's not, it's not too hard. So, put the cans to the side right now. Go ahead and rotate his arms up. Open the panel for his arm. Flip his hands in. Close the panel to the side. In, close the panel. And his head just stays right here. His head does not go anywhere at all. 
So yeah, bring this down. Go ahead and close this back up like we had before. So, then what you're gonna do, go ahead and up these down. You're gonna collapse his legs. And it's kind of st really stiff to get it going. I might have to loosen some screws up, maybe. I don't know if that'll help or not. So yeah, you got un hang it, and you push it down until it clicks again. It should click again. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. I mean, I don't think it would hurt anything because it's just a little click. It's not gonna, the transformation does not depend on that click. Tap his legs together. Go ahead and split them at the waist. Oh! hurts and go ahead and bend his legs right there and he has like two pegs on his knees and he had two ports on his chest so his inverted nipples so you plug his knee nipples into his inverted chest nipples pegs in there you go All right, almost done. Then you go ahead and rotate this up, like so. And I'll move the arms away to get some clearance because once you get them up, get this wheel up all the way, then his arms are going to tab in to the support right there. You got a tab right here. Just, just tab it in. Same thing on the other side. Tap it in. Then you want to rotate this up and you got these two pegs right here or two posts right there so I'm tab into these two holes these screw holes right here bring it up periscope I think there you go okay it's, okay that threw me off make sure you got this extended and they move independently so bam we got like that make sure that's up Go ahead and spread this out the way. And you're gonna take these clear bits right here, you're gonna lift it up, and it's on a ball joint, and you're gonna rotate it around a little stiff. Well, there's a ball hinge, so the hinge part is kind of stiff. So you're gonna bring it down like so. Before you bring it all the way down, you're gonna take you're gonna flip this out like that. Or we're trying they translucent parts, they love them so much. But we hate that translucent parts because they seem to break very much, especially on some tight hinges like this. But bring it back up, and you're gonna try. You're gonna tab these two halves in together. And you're gonna try and bring them both down at the same time on these tight hinges. I don't know how to do it. There we go. So this tight hinge, bring it down like so. Then you're going to take these side panels right here and you're going to bring them forward. And this tab right here is going to slot in right here up front. All right. We're almost done. You're going to take these two parts right here and you're going to put them together. Slide these back. And you're gonna tab it in right here. Yes, on this part forming. Yeah, not the end of the world. Don't jump off a bridge. And don't cancel your pre-order. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh my god, it's parts forming. Alright, there we go. So you peg that in. Then you bring this down. And this tab right here is gonna sit on top of a uh, little slot in on these plastic clear pieces. You can't see it because it's like clear piece, so you really can't tell it's there or not. So, but it is there. So bring it down, so secure it like that. You also take his guns, fold the handle in, and you can plug them in into, you got various ports, ports right there, port right, my ports right here, port right here, port right here. Right, yeah, right there. And, and port right here on the front wheels. And I used to put them in the front wheels because I think that's more G1 accurate. And there you go, you have turbo injector transform into his super huge motorcycle 
car that looked like it could fit like four people inside of it type thing. Yeah, man, it looks real nice. I like it. the G1 accuracy of it. Very nice. Uh, wheels do roll. Not very well on this table, but they do roll. Yeah, look at that neat, nice detail. Translucent parts look good. Make use of the cannons and exhaust pipes. Got the guns right here. Look kind of like the um the bat pod from on the Nolan Batman movies. Boo. Uh, yeah, so looks nice. Yeah. Thing is, this thing don't really tab in that well. So I mean, it doesn't tab in at all. It just sits in there, just to fill in the gap and whatnot. So yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging this very much. It looks nice. And for a size comparison, we got with Builder Shield Jazz. And it's just, look how huge this thing is. It's like a motorcycle tank. But here's the motorcycle and Transformers, we can expect. Motorcycles are never going to scale on Transformers. <laughs> And here you got his G1 self, so yeah, looks very nice. And you can see how close they are to each other in, in the simulate, uh, similarities of the vehicle mode. And this guy actually does transform just like this, or he just one transform just like that. So, very nice, very cool. Let's go ahead and transform him to limb mode. So, I'm just gonna pop these off. It's not that difficult to get in the limb mode. And tab this, bring this down. Let's make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm tab his arms. Let's bring them down out the way for right now. Let's go ahead and bring this down out of the way. Uh, lift. Bring this up. Tab it. Fold these in. Bring this down. Fold this in. Bring this around. Down. Fold these back. Flip it up like so. Fold him back in half. And we're going to open up the chest panel right here. Open this up and bring it in front of his face. And you guys can buy a port right here. Well, I just noticed that if I keep them split like so, I can easily get the thing started because this thing is very 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 tight if you get into what we're trying guys or the what we're trying bruticus you know how pain in the butt getting these things out of people's at the arm guys chest so right here you just push it right from right here to get it started go ahead and tap them back together get this up voila so yeah he is the right arm so we're going to configure him for right arm usage Rotate him at the waist. Go ahead and lift the feet up. And they're on a the ball joint, so you're gonna bend the feet up again. So go ahead and untab this. Bring these up. And this is going to tab in and get two ports right there in the bottom. It's two tabs. It's going to tab in right here. So, you're going to bring his arms down like so. You're going to have these events right here facing straight up, being flush like that. Full of elbows, arms like that. Have them there, you go, like that. On the other side, and his elbows, just like that. Take this panel, go ahead and bring it down, and it's covering his face so you can't see his face, his head. All right, next, what you're going to do, you're going ahead and let's bring this up according to the instructions. Bring that straight up, bring that up right there. Something just fell off. I have no idea what that is that fell off. I can't tell what it is. 
I don't know. Some little tiny pieces falling off already. What in the world? Come on. Might be some old flash or something. So yeah, where was I at? And I think you're done. You're done. That is his arm mode. So yeah, you'll split the legs right here and you'll, the, the hand port plugs in here. All the combiner pieces, the hands and feet come with the last guy scatter shot. So yeah. Oh yeah, you can, yeah, and the instructions do tell you to take these panels right here and bring them straight up like that. It really doesn't matter. I mean, it's looks like two legs to me stuck together. See the little gap right here still. I mean, you want to fix something, fix that leg gap. How about that? So yeah, you can get some range of motion right out of this. Uh, you bring these panels down, you probably get a little bit more range of motion. There you go. Um, it looks a little bit better than what Robert their first attempt was. Um, then like his elbow, his um shoulder is not by his elbow as much. So yeah. So yeah, and you also can rearrange it, bring this down, bring this out like so to look more like the G1 arm mode. It's up to you. So yeah. Transform back the robot real quick. Oops. So, shit. I did those. About to break my stuff, man. Extend the legs out. With the strength of Hercules. No. Nah, that click. Bring it out. That click. Uh, uh. There you go. Oh, panels right here. Flip out his fist. Fist. The greatest of ease. There we go. Make sure this waist locks in. Bring that in. Bring this back down. So. And there you have them back into robot mode if you want. Let's bring this out. Let's do it proper. Let's make it proper. So yeah, turbo injector after burning back in robot mode. Uh, I like this figure a lot. He he's cool. I mean, very very cool. We're all trying to keep up their their look and aesthetic of um having like more G one S, but they got that that neo classics feel to them. Yeah, had no problems with this guy at all. No problems whatsoever, except for that what one problem was. What's the the issue I had. Yeah, I guess the shoulders. They still got shoulders on. Um, I'm gonna give it so much range out of them. Do some things with them. I mean, that's that's about it. I mean, I had no other, other issues with them. I spent the, the same old what we're trying to start off by adding in bits and pieces without letting you know what the bits and pieces are for. Um, I guess I heard they're not the best people to communicate with as far as on um, to the English speaking world. Um, I'm still waiting on my onslaught because they give me catch a prey a hard time. Well, but yeah, I, mean, I do recommend getting them. You into into um Computron. I never held the make towards Computron, but as far as size goes and as far as G1 accuracy goes, uh, and this is what you when you is it, if that what you're looking for. This is what you should get right here. I mean, the other Computron looks nice and everything, but it's too small to go with my other combiners that I already have, and. Their look is not very G1-esque. I mean, you can see some cues from G1 or the original source material as far as they pretty much the colors go because they're pretty much did their own thing with their with their box. Same thing with Fan Project. They redesigned so much that they you can tell you can see little homages from the color and stuff like that. But they're pretty much totally their own their own character designs for the most part. But yeah, I do recommend getting him. Check him out, man. And check me out, too. Make sure you uh, subscribe, like this video, tell your friends, tell everybody you know at work, tell your um, people at work and partners.